I want to take a second today to address a couple of the comments made in a few of the videos and also to give some advice to a few guys who wrote me uh, private messages. A couple of guys had wanted uh, advice on starting their own business um, and, and how best to get a small business off the ground. And a couple of people had made comments on a few of the videos saying stuff like, uh, your approach is not universal. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be giving advice to everybody and telling them to do things this way or that way because, you know, your way of doing things may not work for everyone. Uh, to that, I would say bullshit. And to answer the small business advice, I can sort of do it with the same, uh, same track, which is that in order to be good at anything and in order to have success in any area of your life that goes above and beyond um, sort of normality, you have to get obsessed with whatever it is that you are setting out to achieve and be good at. So with small business, with lifting weights, with whatever it is that you're into, you have to have a fanatical devotion to it. You, you have to do that to the detriment of all the other things in your life. You have to have single-minded focus on it. Um, so to the guy saying that my approach doesn't work for anyone, um, I would say that only my approach works for everyone. The only universal approach is obsession, it's devotion, and it's discipline. You know, everybody always wants motivation to get out there and do shit, but the guys who are really out there doing shit are people who wake up every day obsessed with what it is that they're trying to accomplish. You know, two years ago, I was working as a bouncer a couple nights a week in order to stay out on the road playing music. I was making a little bit of money playing music and I didn't have a whole lot of side hustles going on. You know, I was making very little money, but I was able to stay out playing music because I was obsessed with it. The minute I would get home from one run of shows, I would be booking other shows. You know, I would be tired, I wouldn't have slept a lot, and I would already be trying to figure out what the next way to get back out there. I was recording, I was writing new material, like the night that I would get home, you know, up till four or five in the morning because I was obsessed with it. You know, and, and with as it switched over to, to deciding that I wanted to start working for myself and running a business full time, I realized at the beginning that I wasn't going to be able to make enough money to support myself just based on the one thing. And so what I had to do was get obsessed with just the whole idea of not having to work for someone else anymore. And so at the outset of this, you know, I was doing apparel, I was doing uh, personal coaching, I was doing fitness training with people, I was programming nutrition for people, you know, I was doing all this different stuff in order to make enough to pay my bills. And what I started to do from there was reduce it to more and more of a singularity. Um, I've sort of made peace with the fact that I'm interested in too much stuff to ever probably be really phenomenal at any one thing. You know, I like to do jujitsu, I like to kickbox, I like to ride and work on motorcycles, I like to lift weights, I like to write, draw, play music, all this different stuff. But what I'm fanatical about is my lack of ability to ever go back to working for anybody else ever again. And because I am obsessed with that idea and I'm obsessed with my own idea of freedom and what that means to me, I wake up every morning hitting the ground running. You know, a lot of people are like, oh man, you must never sleep. Well, I don't sleep that much. Uh, I sleep as much as I have to. But what I do when I'm awake is I'm working for myself 100% of the day. I look at taking care of my body and doing fitness as part of an investment into my business. You know, anytime I'm drawing, writing, doing videos, anything that I'm doing, I'm doing it because the best advice I can give you on business or life in general is that you have to produce quality content consistently. If every day you're working on producing something of value with your life, you know, whether you're running your own business or not, if you are constantly obsessed with the idea of increasing the quality of your life and increasing the quality of the time that you spend on that, and you're just obsessed with that idea, you are going to produce results. So to wrap this up, you know, if you're working on a small business, if you're lifting weights, if you're trying to compete at powerlifting, you know, anything it is, if you're trying to become a world-class artist, it has to be your consuming desire from the time you wake up to the time that you go to bed. And anything that you do in your day that is not directly towards that, you have to be aware that that's a sacrifice. You're sacrificing that time in order to do something else, whether that's time with your kids, whether that's time doing whatever it is that's not part of your obsessed focus, you have to look at it as a sacrifice and say, okay, is this a sacrifice I'm willing to make because it's gonna take me a little bit further away from my goal. So anytime anybody tells you that obsession is a bad thing or that, that you're getting too focused on something, realize that 
Yes, for normal people, obsession is a bad thing because it, it keeps them from living their tiny, normal little lives. But for you, if you're trying to get out there and be successful and be world class at something, you have to cultivate obsession.